Hey ambitious professionals, it's Linda Rayner of lindarayner.com, guiding you to a career and life you'll truly enjoy. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you my best tips on how to dress for your next upcoming interview. I have tips for both women and men so that you can impress employers, you can look and feel your best in your next upcoming interview. Ready to get the job you want? Top Notch Interview is coming soon. For more info and free training, head to jointni.com. As a career strategist, I've had the honor of being able to help numerous professionals land their dream job offers. And if this is something that you're interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, I can give you details about that at the end of this video. Now, as you know, I've been sharing my career advice and tips and strategies with you for the last little while now. And throughout this time period, I've actually had quite a few people approach me and ask me to do a video on what to wear in an interview. And to be honest, I kept putting this topic aside because I was surprised that you guys wanted to know about this. Now, I wouldn't say I have a defined sense of style. I just wear clothes that I like and wear clothes that I feel comfortable in. Um, but regardless of the fact that I'm not a fashion expert, I decided I'll make this video and I'll share my tips with you on how you can dress in your next upcoming interview so that you can look and feel your best. Now let's start off with the ladies. For women, I would say the sense of style that you should be going for when it comes to an interview is classy, yet chic. Now first, let's talk about clothing. The first tip I have for you when it comes to clothing is to make sure that your clothes fit. If you decide that you want to wear a suit to an interview, I think that's a great idea. There's nothing wrong with overdressing. Better to overdress than to underdress. So when it comes to wearing a suit, you want to wear a fitted blazer and fitted pants. Don't go into the interview wearing an oversized blazer unless that's the style. If you wanna wear an oversized blazer and wear a dress underneath or a, sh a collared shirt and a skirt with an oversized blazer, I think that's actually completely fine as long as it's meant to be an oversized blazer. But if it's meant to just fit your body, the blazer is like a fitted blazer, then make sure it actually fits. Now you, you also wanna make sure that you keep the colors neutral. So I say go for gray, maybe beige. Black is absolutely fine as well. Wear a white, clean collared shirt underneath, most preferably if you're wearing a suit, a full-on suit, or wearing a neutral colored dress underneath your blazer works as well. Now, for men and clothing, same thing. You want to look classy, you want to look professional. So when it comes to you going into the interview, that's pretty simple. When it comes to clothing, you wanna wear a suit, and similar to the ladies, you want to wear a fitted suit. Please, no oversized poofy shoulder suits and make sure your suits are clean. If the last time you wore the suit you had sweated in it or you just haven't had time to take it to the dry cleaner, make sure you do that before you go into the interview. I've had to conduct interviews where I've had individuals come into the room and you could tell they didn't clean their suit. That's extremely important that you have a clean suit when you come in again also a probably a plain white collared shirt and a tie all tucked in properly a suit fitting your body as well that's a great option to wear for the interview now let's talk about shoes so for the ladies if you're gonna wear heels I highly recommend just wearing a simple pair of shorter heels, kitten heels they call them, rather than wearing stilettos or just really huge chunky heels. It can give the wrong impression. If you wear, you know, just a heel with just a little bit of height, I think that's good enough. It'll still tie up that nice classy look that you're going for. And I would probably go for just a plain black heel or a nude colored heel. For men, when it comes to shoes, very simple, just faux leather or real leather dress shoes. They don't have to look super crazy. They don't have to have crazy patterns. They don't have to have all those holes in them. Just a simple pair of dress shoes. Try to make sure again that they also fit your feet, that they're not too big, too clunky, too chunky, and maybe not too pointed at the same time. I've seen some really pointy dress shoes. So just, you know, one that fits your foot, fits your feet, and uh, gives a nice shape and ties up 
the look that you're going for, which is that professional yet classy suited up look. Oh, and about the shoes, if they're leather or even if they're not, just make sure they're polished, not dusty and full of dirt. Make sure you polish them before the interviews. Now let's talk about hair. So for women, when it comes to hair, this is my personal opinion, but instead of tying your hair in a ponytail or doing it up in a bun, I actually prefer that you have your hair down. As a recruiter, I feel that it gives a more confident and self-assured look when you have your hair down. It's nice and neat, of course, and it's just free flowing. Rather than having your hair in a really tight bun or a really tight ponytail, I just feel like it gives a little bit of a different vibe. So that's my personal opinion. You do what you feel is best and most comfortable for you. But if you can, leave your hair down for the interview. Now, when it comes to hair for men, as you know, hiring managers, the most of them, they wanna work with clean people. So make sure your hair is clean cut as well. Nothing too straggly or messy. I mean, ideally, if you could comb it and gel it, that's perfect, but not overly gelled where it's super shiny and glistening in the fluorescent light. Just nice combed, neat cut hair. Now when it comes to makeup, this is I guess more applicable for the ladies. Um, I would say don't go for an overly made up look if you can stick with a neutral, bronzy, makeup, no makeup look. I think that's what it is. I think that's what it's called. That would be great. Nothing too overly done. So that would mean just foundation, eyeliner, mascara, blush, lipstick, lip gloss, um, eyebrows, a little bit of uh, highlighter maybe, just a little bit, and that's good enough. And then finally, let's talk about accessories. So when it comes to accessories such as earrings, bracelets, I currently don't have really anything on my wrist right now, but normally I would wear a watch. In terms of earrings, if you wear earrings, then I would go for studs, diamonds or pearls, something that's not too dangly, not too party-ish. Just a simple necklace, if you prefer wearing a necklace. And if you wanna wear a bracelet, you can, just something, again, not too distracting. For men, accessories is a lot easier. Like I said earlier, wear a tie and wear a nice watch as well. I mean, it doesn't have it to be anything crazy expensive, just a nice business professional looking watch, you know, whether it's leather or, or otherwise, that's good as well. There you have it. Those are my best tips on how to dress for your next upcoming interview so that you can look your best. Now, if you are looking for a new position and you've been looking for the last little while and you haven't been getting many results and you realize that you need one-on-one -on -one professional help from me, then feel free to reach out. Head on over to my website, lindarainer.com slash standoutgethired, read through the page, fill in the application form. And from there, if it seems as though we're a match, then one of my team members will be reaching out to you directly. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Ready to get the job you want? Top Notch Interview is coming soon. For more info and free training, head to joinTNI.com.